Hello and welcome to Wireshark Troubleshooting. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn about various troubleshooting issues in Wireshark and how we can solve these issues that we are going to cover here in this section. So let's start with the coloring rules to highlight potential performance. Now in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to learn about the coloring rules inside Wireshark and I'm going to explain you about these coloring rules. So now what you can do here you can start your Wireshark and you can start the browser of your system. So now guys I am at the desktop of my Windows 10 machine and now first of all start Wireshark. So you can click on your home button of your Windows and you can search here for Wireshark. So here it is. Click here and open the Wireshark. So here we have the Wireshark. So first of all you can see the capture. I'm working on my wireless and you can also open your browser so here it is and start two three random websites for example i've started wireshark.org or volnoweb.com from acunetics right so that we can grab some packets inside wireshark all right now open the wireshark select the interface which is wi-fi double click here and open it here you can simply refresh the web page of your websites go back to Wireshark here and here you can see that we got enough data inside Wireshark now let me simply click on the red button to stop capturing so we got around 600 packets inside Wireshark now what is coloring rules so here you can see that there are different different packets are available here like SSDP, TLS, DNS right and they have different colors right so if I want to change these colors or if, if I want to highlight a particular packet among these packets inside Wireshark, so how I can do this using coloring rules? So there are various options available in Wireshark to do that. First of all, what you can do here, you can click on view and then you can come down and then you can click on coloring rules. So click here. So here it is. Now if you can see here that there are various colors are available like black color, like pink color, blood red color or blue color, right? The colors are available here. And on the left hand side, you can see the packet names, what kind of packets we have and the filter on the right hand side. For example, if I talk about, for example, TCP packet. So here you can see in the background, TCP color is blue color, right? So if I want to highlight TCP with red color, or any other color like violet color how I can do that so what you can do here select the TCP right click on background and here you can see that there are various colors are available which can be used to change the color of TCP packets for example if I want to provide the yellow color so this color I'm choosing here right so you can click on OK now you can see here that color has been changed and click OK so if you can come down then you can see here that all the TCP packets are in yellow color. Got it? For example if someone has attacked your system and you got the packets from attacker. You want to simply highlight those packets inside Wireshark so that you can save that output and you can send it to someone else. For example send it to your senior. Right? So you want to highlight those packets. For example click on view again. Click coloring rules. ICMP packets are there or bad TCP packets are there so these kind of packets are in black color right for example if attacker is attacking on your network or flooding your network so you can get these kind of packets so again if I talk about HTTP so select HTTP now click on background again you can select any other for example red color click OK and click OK so you will see the red color in HTTP here. Here you can see. So if I want to highlight the HTTP packets, right? So simply I can go to the coloring of packets option and I can change the colors. You can also change the foreground. So to change the foreground, you can click coloring rules, select the HTTP packet, click on foreground and you can change the foreground color. For example, let's make it blue colors. Click OK, click OK. And now you can see here that Basically, the red color is the background and blue color is in the foreground. So that's how you can use coloring options to highlight these packets from 
attacker. So guys, this is all about the coloring rules inside Wireshark. 